two of the biggest questions that a lot of farmers have been asking, Darren and me all fall, has been, will dicamba get approved this next year for Extend Soybeans and Extend Flex? And will the European Union approve Extend Flex so we can actually plant it here in the United States? Well, as we stand here today filming this show, I don't have the answer, but this could change any day. So even by the time you watch our show, those things might both be approved. They might both be abandoned. We don't know. So it's been a little bit challenging this fall making these decisions for the spring of 2021 when we don't have those answers. But we will assume for our discussion today that both ExtendFlex and Dicamba will get approved. We just wanted to talk today about how best to use these products and the Extend soybeans that have been out for a few years. Well, certainly with the dicamba, let's take that one first. Dicamba was already going through a re-registration process before there were any lawsuits or any questions about the original registration. They were set to expire in December of 2020 anyway. So they're already working with the EPA for a long time on getting dicamba re-registered. That's something that it's up to the EPA when that's going to happen, but it sounds like that that's progressing along. With the traits, you may be wondering, well, do I want to plant the trade if I don't know 100% for sure if dicamba is coming out? There's been a program that Bayer has announced called Plant with Confidence to give you money back if you choose to buy one of those traits and then dicamba doesn't get labeled later on. There are lots of other weed control options we can use in Extend and Extend Flex crops too. So I'm not super worried about it, but again, there is the Plant with Confidence program to give you a little bit more hope uh, of, hey, if something doesn't work out, I got a little extra money to control some weeds. By the way, the Plant with Confidence program, you need to talk to your seed company. What we understand, what we have heard is that it's gonna be if that dicamba isn't approved by late winter, you'd get $3 back on Extend Flex and $7 back on Extend. But again, that could change. Just talk to your seed company. They'll give you the details on that. I guess I, I want to talk a little about dicamba. We've seen so much volatility with that and a little bit of spray drift, but a lot of volatility. Here's how you can greatly reduce that. Number one, spray it as a burn down or just very early in the season. Number two, if you've got sensitive crop nearby, make sure the wind's going to be blowing away from that sensitive crop for two straight days after spraying. Yes, I did say two straight days after spraying. The reason why is just in case there would happen to be any volatility where basically you sprayed it correctly, but then the product picks up and moves, the wind is still blowing away. Once you get past two days, there's very little chance for any volatility. And sure, volatility, might cause a little bit of leaf cupping. It's probably not going to hurt anybody's yield, but even leaf cupping on a neighbor's crop, that's not good. That's not good for our image and agriculture. It's certainly not good for your relations with your neighbor. So do the best you can to be very careful. Spray that dicamba early in the year and make sure the wind's going to be blowing away from the neighbor, away from the sensitive crop for two straight days. Let's talk about these two traits now, Extend and Extend Flex. How do they differ? Well, Extend Flex just brings the opportunity where you could spray glufosinate or Liberty in crop in addition to glyphosate or potentially dicamba if that label gets approved. So you've got three-way herbicide tolerance, that's pretty cool. And even in some of the Extend Flex varieties, they have tolerance to the STS herbicides too. You could say that's a four-way stack. Well, that's pretty cool. That gives you a lot of weed control options post-emerge. Where we want to start with either Extend or Extend Flex is with the pre-emerge program. If we do a great job with that pre-emerge program, we have fewer weeds to fight. We have, instead of great big thick patches, now we have sporadic weeds popping up in the field, which are much easier to control. And ultimately we end up with higher yields and more peace of mind for you on the farm. So start with that pre-program. We like the three pre-program. We're using at least three different modes of action pre-emerge. Our favorite modes of action to use are the PPOs like Valor or Authority. Metribuzin, which has become a real key in a lot of programs, and then also one of the yellows like Prowl or Treflin. The big question most people have asked us is, how's the yield? Well, first of all, if you haven't planted Extend Beans yet, uh, the yield's been fantastic. And that's part of the reason why a lot of people don't want to switch out of Extend into Enlist or some other trait. I will tell you, Enlist is great too if you want to switch to that, but I don't care what trait you're planting or even if it's conventional always, always look at the defensive traits that you need. So for example, if you need iron deficiency chlorosis tolerance, if you need white mold tolerance, SDS, whatever it is, focus on that first, because if you don't do that, then I don't care what the biotech trait is, you're going to fail with your yield or you're not gonna get the yields that you're hoping for. Extend yields really well. With Extend Flex, it's not quite there 
to the level of extend yet in terms of yield across the board. I'm not saying there aren't some great extend flex soybeans because there are, but you just have to be a little bit more choosy with extend flex simply because it's new. And as a new trait out there, a new offering, we do expect Extend Flex varieties will sell out once they get approved. And yes, there is still a little uncertainty about when that trait approval will happen. We do anticipate it's very likely to happen by the time you're planting in the spring. Well, another thing that's likely to happen by the time you're planting in the spring is weeds will pop up like our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop it coming up next.